Hello, it's Paul Case here with your Bible time for today. Today, the message from Southeast Baptist Church at Commerce, Oklahoma, from the pulpit was found in John chapter 7, uh, beginning at verse 16 and going through 18. This is what it says, John chapter 7, verse 16. Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but it is he who sent me. But his who sent me, if anyone wills to do his will, he shall know concerning the doctrine, whether it is from God or whether I speak of my own authority. He who speaks from himself seeks his own glory. But he who seeks the glory of one who sent him is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. And uh, just going over real quick what the word says. And verse 16, it says, Jesus preached a doctrine that was not his. It belonged to God. And the doctrine was this, that these things apply to your heart as well as your body. The um, people who had received the Ten Commandments in the Old Testament uh, were entrusted with them. And so they took them and expanded upon them, making 620 some laws. And nobody could follow any of them, uh, or all of them, but nobody could follow just all of the Ten Commandments. So they didn't do anything except for make the Ten Commandments more burdensome. And what they were actually meant to do was that the doctrine of the commandments would show people that they needed a Savior. And God, they would have to rely on God to send that Savior. And He has sent that Savior. And so Jesus preached a doctrine that wasn't his own. Look what he says there. My doctrine's not mine, but his who sent me. And the doctrine was God's that Jesus te taught and preached. And then in verse 17 it says, If anyone wills to do his will, that is God's will, he'll know concerning the doctrine, whether it's from God or whether I speak of my own authority. So anybody who sets out and desires to do what God's will is, and I don't believe you can do that until you've trusted him in faith, when you set out to do, to do the will of the Lord, uh, you will realize and you'll know in your heart that Jesus' doctrine was not his own. It belonged to God. And Jesus was doing what God asked him to do. He says, if anybody wants to do God's will, well, what is God's will? I'd like to tell you that every person can find out what God's will is for their, themselves. And God does have an individual will for everybody. And we are posed with the question, can we discern his will or not? Now, there's some things in the Bible that tell us about his will. And you'll never find his will or his spirit telling you to do something that goes against what the written word is. And so I've picked out a few of those things that he says is his will in Scripture. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 says it's his will that we give thanks. We ought to be thankful for what we got. Can I tell you, whenever we uh, aren't thankful, we close down the highway of blessing to us, I believe. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4 says he desires all men to be saved. It's his will that they be saved. When somebody dies that is not saved, doesn't know Jesus as their Savior, they're making his death of none effect, which means they made his death on Calvary, which was the payment for my sins and for theirs, of no effect in their life by dying without trusting in him. And that uh, makes, makes it look like this, that they counted his death and his blood that was shed for them as a cheap thing his desire that we be saved it's his desire we be sanctified in first thessalonians 4 verse 3 it says that we're to be sanctified that means set apart i'd like to put it this way you're set apart for something to do his service and uh, he he would that we'd be sanctified and that we'd possess our our bodies well that we'd not allow every wind uh, uh, to change the way we think or the way we act, but that we would be rock-solid people, be sanctified, be ones that are set apart to share the gospel to other people. 
Hebrews chapter 13, verse 21 says that it's his will that we do what pleases God. You know what I've learned about what pleases God? His scripture says it's impossible to please God without faith. So he wants us to be a people who are of faith, obviously, if he wants us to do what pleases him and to not follow our own will, but follow his will and do what he says do. Uh, I've learned that my wants aren't near as important as his wants. And and so I just lay down a lot of my wants to try to pick up all of his wants. And I, I want what he wants for me. I can do a lot better doing what he wants for me. And Ephesians 5, 8 says that we're to be spill, filled with the Holy Spirit. And uh, he actually says there, don't be drunk with wine, which is dissipation, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. And so we're to be people who have... Uh, God's own spirit inside of us. And that if you're filled with something, uh, it comes out of you. It is what is in you. So if you're filled completely up with it, it's what comes out of you. And so you would, uh, you would be a person who others would identify as somebody who was a carrier of the Holy Spirit, obviously, and that you did things uh, in compliance with what the Holy Spirit said for you to do. And in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 36 it, he tells us it's his will that we persevere to the end and so we don't know when that end's going to be but we're supposed to uh do what he says do until he calls us home so we got to do his will we ought to be about we ought to be people who are about doing the will of god and in verse 18 it says jesus said he who speaks for from himself seeks his own glory can you notice something about Jesus' teachings? He didn't seek his own glory. He didn't even live in a house a lot of the time. He didn't own one. He had no earthly possessions that we can identify. Called up a bunch of fishermen to be his followers and tax collectors. And uh, he wasn't seeking his own glory. And what, what is it? what's the Bible record that Jesus did when he went around from town to town? He went around healing people. Went around mending their brokenness. Went around doing good to people. Hmm. He says he doesn't seek his own glory. Look what it says. But he who seeks the glory of the one who sent him is true. Well, what was Jesus doing? He was pointing people toward Father God in heaven. Our heavenly Father. And God who is over all. And it says, uh, and no unrighteousness is in him. The one who seeks the will of the Father and who does what he says to do, it says there won't be any unrighteousness in him. Now, now Jesus is the only one who lived a perfect life. He lived a life that was completely and totally sinless. He was righteous, but we are not. The Bible says uh, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Nobody's exempt from sin, and we all have that issue. But whenever you're filled with the Holy Spirit and you're seeking to do God's will, you will do what he says do. And you won't do what he says don't do. Then there won't be any unrighteousness in you. Kick out the old man. Send him packing. And that's what the message was from the pulpit at Southwest, Southeast Baptist Church in Commerce, Oklahoma. Um... If you want to go to Facebook Live and look up Exciting Southeast Baptist Church, Commerce, Oklahoma, you can view the whole uh, sermon there. And I just want to thank you all for watching my video and uh, studying the Word of God with me. And be sure to leave your comments below. And we will catch you next time on Bible Time. Thank you.